What's up YouTubers? Well today I'm going to actually show you all my fish tanks so far and how they are uh, going. I'm used to have five fish tanks now, I've got six, so uh, um, here it goes. Well the first one you can see there is actually my um, seven foot tank and I've got my koi in there. Um, you probably have known that um, I did have a Giardini at one stage, but that was given away, so there's no Giardini in there anymore. A couple of things happened since then. Um, some of my koi died, um, however, there's only one original remaining, and that's the um, um, the red and uh, white one, the Kahaki. The others have been bought since. Um, they've been various um, videos, all of them, but. Um, but yeah, now they're all in here. The other thing you probably notice is that there's um, a small fish in there. On the left hand corner. I'll just go towards it. I'll zoom in. And you can see there's actually a flying fox. Um, I moved that from my four foot tank in there so you can eat some algae. Pretty much holds its own against uh, all these other fishes and some, even sometimes chases the small uh, gold one so um, and it's quite happy in there on the left of the tank um, you probably notice there's a partition and there's on java fern on the, the other side uh, that's mainly because the koi eats the java fern and that stops it from um, uh, eating it. So in my 7 foot tank I also got a um, seraphim plico. Um, I had another plico, um, it's in one of my videos but it wasn't mine, it was only there temporarily and uh, it's been moved on since then. Um, this one is definitely mine and um, it's hard to get a clear shot because he's quite shy if I turn on the lights and he will just dart away back into the pot. That's a better shot of him there. Seems quite content there just to sit on the pot. Second tank, tank I'm going to show you is my uh, 38 litre curved glass tank. It's been there quite a while. But all the um, original uh, fishes that was in there is um, all gone now and um, all the ones in there is quite new of, for this tank you can see there in the foreground there's um, bronze quarries uh, they're actually uh, quarries actually bred myself from my four foot tank uh, there's two in there and I put them put it in uh, put them in there when they were really like which were really really small like uh, about um, half a centimeter also got in there um, an algae eater um, Siamese algae eater and and I only bought that because um, my other algae eater jumped out in the sump so um, he's quite small he's on the right hand side behind the, the plants. He's coming out now, you can see on the right. Um, and they, he seems to like it in there. I popped it in there and uh, all the algae seems to go away, so it's really, really good. The other thing you probably can't see is on the top right, there he is there. There's a, si a Siamese fire. Um, it's been there about six months now. Blue in color. The only problem with him is that uh, his, his fin seems to be a bit frizzled. I'm not too sure why. He doesn't get picked on or anything. Um, maybe it's a diet deficiency, but I really don't know actually. Um, he loves um, going around the, uh, the plants and stuff like that. And, um, Maybe that's a reason why his fins are a bit frizz frizzled. But um, anyone can tell me, it would be great. So yeah, that's my 38 litre. You can see the close up of my bronze quarry in the 38 litre tank there. 
not too sure what they're doing together, but they seem to be nice and healthy. And that's my uh, Siamese algae eater. Uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, Siamese uh, fighter. As you can see, it's, it's actually quite comfortable between the leaves. They like the love nestling between um, the plants, and um, and you look closely at their um, his his fins is actually all kind of frizzled. Don't really know what to do there, but. Uh, He is quite happy where he is. I'm getting quite aggressive to the camera at the moment. The third tank I'm going to show you is my little 20 litre nano tank. Um, all the original inhabitants again has all gone, um, except for quite a few. I've got a couple of neons left and one tetra, glow light tetra. They're, they've actually been in a couple of videos many years back and um, basically I've only got uh, uh, yeah them left which is kind of uh, quite a feat when you think about it because I've never really known any tetra neon living for more than one year or, or glow light and um, these ones um, they're probably in the later stages they'll probably be dying soon um, old age I would reckon the fins and that are all gone not too sure why um, I'll just give you a close-up on them not proud of it really but um, but uh, this is how it goes so there they are there um, hiding behind the java fern you can see the tetra neon its fins all gone most likely won't grow back. There's a glow light in there. And um, they seem to be surviving. They love the Java fern. They hide in between it all the time. And um, I really hope they, they are still alive, but you know, I don't think they will be. As a, I think they're getting really, really old.